Hey everybody, I want to show you this painting, which, um, well, for you watching, it will have been last week. For me, it was yesterday. Um, there is no video. I just needed some quiet time to myself and did some painting. And this was, um, this painting took, gosh, over two hours at least. Um, which is longer than most pours and I love it and I'm gonna attempt to show you how I made it. It was kind of a long journey and I had to make one whole painting before I could turn it into this. So this is the painting from my last video I think. Um, I don't particularly care for it. I may do some dry painting on top of it, I'm not quite sure. And then this painting is just awful because you can't see any of it. Um, and this was a painting on top of a painting on top of a painting, I believe. And so I think it is done. <laughs> like, uh, I could try and sand it because it is wood. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's a goner. So I already put, poured the white onto this 20 by 20 canvas to save us some time. Um, I used Dutch Boy interior latex paint mixed with Floetrol and water. I have paint mixing videos which will show you exactly how I mix it since I don't measure. Um, there's Amazon links in my video description to the pan that I use and some other things. Um, check out other videos. Um, they'll give you more, you know, instruction on other techniques. Um, so let's get started. Getting my gloves on. I've got Grumbacher Prussian Blue. And I'm going to try and stand for this because that one was so big it was on the floor. So I was bent over for like, you know, two hours. So I'm a little sore today. Uh, hang on, I got to find my paper towels. Oh, here they are. I will need them. I need them already. Um, so the Prussian blue. This is a neon green, um, like a craft paint, those little two ounce. I've got Artist Loft Turquoise. I have some kind of orange. I think this was mixed. Oh, here it is. It was um, uh, cadmium orange hue, some mica powders, and some iridescent medium. And I already dropped something into there. Um, I'm not, I think this is prism purple, but I'm not sure which brand it is. Ooh, but yeah, I was going to say I do have this dioxazine purple, which is pretty. And then this is... Grumbacher Process Magenta with Iridescent Medium. Um, let me take the lids off of these colors. So, hang on a second. Oops, I have more room next to me. I can move my mallet out of the way because I'm not using that. Toss those paints on the floor because they need to be put away. So. And 
and I'm using, oh my gosh, these lids are awful. I'm using a open, um, uh, like PVC pipe for the initial pour. Whatever batch of these two ounce or five and a half ounce um, paints uh, these containers, their lids are really messed up. I mean, I know that when paint dries on them, you know, it doesn't help the situation, but it's like worse than it ever has been. Um, where did I put? Oh. This is not a PVC pipe, though. This is just a, like a plastic thing that came with a shelving unit to keep pieces from bumping each other. So I'm trying to think of what pattern and shape. All right. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of white in here to get it started. No, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm going to go back here then. So I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than I did yesterday. Yesterday I only did one color at a time, but I kind of tilted it on its side, going back and forth. I think I have more white on this canvas than I did yesterday. Because the paint is reacting quite a bit differently. So I'm just kind of going back and forth. So I'm not ever really lifting it up. Whoops. Yeah, I've got a lot, too much white on here. No, well, actually, not really. None of it wanted to come off. And no silicone, I think I said that, but it kind of looks like there is, but there is not. So I'm going to go back to this part because I don't like it.
That's really pretty. All right. Just cleaning that out because easier to do it now. So yesterday I spent a ton of time with the straw because I thought that that was my end goal. Um, I had an intended on doing the uh, extra white paint at the end. So I won't spend as much time on the straw as I did yesterday, but um, it's really pretty. And it brings out the other colors underneath. It's really heavy. There's a lot of paint on here. So the colors are really, really nice. I like them. So then what I did was start to tilt. really hard trying to remember what I did because I was really just in the moment doing what I, you know, just kind of going by feel. I probably spent the most time <laughs> trying to get the white negative space white afterwards because I had done so much to the canvas 
that colors kept popping up. I do know I don't want that much of that color blue in there. It is a lot easier tilting a 20 by 20 than, um, what was that one? 24 by 30. This is a lot lighter. trying to remember at what point I think I did a hard tilt and I don't like that corner area which is why I'm tilting that part off first Off it goes. This is just too green over here. I don't even know why I cleaned that out because See, all those beautiful colors were under there. Yeah, a lot of the techniques that I did yesterday, 
I'm not doing on this one because I know what my end end technique will be. Whereas, as I said, when I did that one, I thought after I had done the straw, I thought that was it. And I actually let it sit for a while. Um, and then I came back to it, luckily while it was all still wet, and finished it. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's really hot in my basement. I'm so hot. probably can't see it right this second. And I did paint over another painting, so you might see some of that. work now. Well, this piece of paper. <sighs> yeah, see this is where the most time was spent. <laughs> Now it's hard to see what's the new painting and what's the old one.
I don't want to just dump on a bunch of white because I don't want tons and tons of paint on here. More than I need, I should say. Now I just have it gently at an angle. I did a little too much wiping off right here. Whoa, just lost the support bars. much more. I know, once again, you can't see exactly what I'm doing.
somehow my phone went dead in the middle of this. Um, so you missed how I got to this point. Um, well, you saw me add some white and then I did a lot of scraping off of colors and putting fresh negative space down. So, um, yeah, you missed a lot of that, but you get the gist. <laughs> I've never, I don't know why it just went black like that. When I, cause I got up to, um, I was done. So I got up to show you and the screen was blank. So here it is. And I am pretty happy with it. I really like it. So thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that uh, you missed some of it, but I will catch you next time. Bye.